Well, our lab is called Beta, or Building and Evolving Technologies for Accessibility, and we are working on extending the functionality of Google Assistant to better serve um, blind users. So VACA stands for Voice Activated Personal Assistant. You might know them as products like uh, Google Assistant, uh, maybe Alexa and Siri. And the goal of the project really was to explore and see if there was a way to improve the accessibility of these products uh, for the vision impaired. But it turns out that for the uh, vision impaired, um, they actually prefer um, a high rate of speech and you know different ways to modulate the voice and these are all features that are lacking in the current assistance. A few of us got together into the TTS team or text -to speech team and we're basically exploring libraries in Python to see how we can implement the Google text -to speech with the Google Assistant SDK that we implemented into our Pi. Getting the Google Assistant voice from talking in its regular speed to going fast, it sounds so trivial, but it turns out that like Google locked down their voice and it's kind of difficult to work with. Um, so we found some inspiration online for looping it back into uh, the Raspberry Pi so that we capture a text transcript and then output that with our own voice. You know, so it's going to sound different than Google Assistant, but it'll be faster, so that's the goal. I was responsible for exploring um, different platforms that we could possibly build the app on. Um, I also helped connect or talk to some uh, Google accessibility engineers um, on Google Assistant through my connections to confirm that the project we're working on is something new that they haven't really considered yet. We basically we built an application to help researchers determine um, how blind individuals prefer um, VAPAs or voice activated personal assistants. So our software is going to allow researchers to test if they prefer a higher speed, a lower speed, or um, a greater verbosity or a lower verbosity, or like basically how they react to different settings and what they prefer so that, that they can quantify that and um, show that it's something that we need to add into these uh, personal assistants. I was hoping that we can create a complete demo showing what our approach really is. We can probably hard code like some demos to show like future team members or like even like the sponsor what we have found is capable. We're trying to combine our team with Tiffany's team to incorporate both of our ideas to make it um, flow more effort effortlessly and to make changes easier and faster with Google Assistant. Really, this project has like opened my eyes to accessibility, and uh, it feels good because I, I do feel like I'm giving back as well because it, it's an accessibility-focused project. So uh, it's something I didn't think about in the past, and now I do.